Let me close with this. I know I'm not a young man. State the obvious. Well, I know. Well, well I don't. I don't walk as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. <laughs> I know. I know. I know right from wrong. <laughs> and I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. And I know, like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. I know what it took to take our economy from the depths of pandemic to where it is today, the strongest economy in the world. I know what it'll take to bring this economy to everybody. I know what it'll take to rally the world to stand up against Putin and defend freedom, not yield to him. And I know it'll take to keep the world safe and free for the years ahead. Folks, I give you my word as a Biden, I would not be running again if I didn't believe with all my heart and soul I can do this job. Because quite frankly, the stakes are too high. The stakes are too high. Donald Trump, Donald Trump is a genuine threat to this nation. He's a threat to our freedom. He's a threat to our democracy. He's literally a threat to everything America stands for. Look, he doesn't understand what I think all of you do. America is the finest, the most unique nation in the world. We're the only nation in the world, and I mean this sincerely, it's a fact statement, not a hyper hyperbolic statement, it's fact. We're the only nation in the world built on an idea. All the nations built on ethnicity, geography, and other religion, but we're built on an idea that we're all created equal. We deserve to be treated equally throughout our lives. We've never fully lived up, and I'll be damned in the year 2024, just two years. Just two years before the 250th anniversary of our Declaration of Independence, that I'll let Donald Trump walk away from it. I give you my word. I give you my word as a Biden. We're still a nation. I believe we're still a nation that believes in honesty and decency and treating people with respect. I still believe we're a nation that gives everyone a fair shot and leaves nobody behind. Yeah. We're still the that gives hate no safe harbor. Yeah. And we're still the beacon to the world. Right, we can never give up what makes America, America. Yeah. Donald Trump is motivated by revenge and retribution. Well, revenge and retribution never built a damn thing. Yeah. You and I, we Americans are a nation of hope. Optimism and possibilities. Yeah. That's what always built America. That's going to continue to build America today. The choice in this election is simple. Donald Trump will destroy our democracy. I will defend it. Yeah. So, folks, are you with me? Donald Trump's the first president I've heard of that stood up there running for president, having been one for one term, saying, America's a failing nation. Where the hell does he think he is? I'm serious. A failing, I don't know a president wouldn't trade places with America in a heartbeat. He's dead wrong. America's not a losing nation. America's winning. As I stand here today, I can honestly say I'm never more optimistic about America's future in my whole career. We just have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America. 
There is nothing, nothing beyond our capacity, nothing when we act together. You got it. So may God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Let's go get them, North Carolina. All right, there we go. Uh, fresh off the debate stage uh, from last night, President Biden holding that first uh, all-important rally out in Raleigh, in North Carolina, and uh, near the end, acknowledging for the first time that he had a poor performance at last night's debate, but says uh, that uh, voters can count on him to get to the finish line and defeat President Donald Trump there.